Metro Manila Subway. Is Valenzuela to Philippine uh, Railway Institute trial run first quarter of 2026, full operation of 2027? Totoo ba yan? Totoo ho. Bakit? Kasi ho, nandiyan na ho yung boring machine. Approved na yung kontrata. Nandiyan yung loan. Naumpisahan na. Makakatuotoo na ho ang Metro Manila Subway. Madaming nangarap, madaming nagplano, madaming nangako. Tayo ho nakagawa at naumpisahan. Japan-Philippines Development Cooperation In October 2017, during a summit meeting between Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and President Rodrigo Duterte, the two leaders affirmed that they would further strengthen the strategic partnership and issued the Japan-Philippines Joint Statement on Bilateral Cooperation for the next five years. The joint statement states that Japan will steadily implement Prime Minister Abe's announcement made in January 2017 during his visit to the Philippines that Japan will contribute a total of 1 trillion yen, roughly half a trillion pesos for the next five years through public and private sector engagement. You know, let me talk first about Japan. I cannot seem to fathom the love of the Japanese people for this republic. There are so many projects going on in the country and being pushed and sponsored by the JICA. That is the overseas uh, assistance nila. Alam mo, sa totoo lang, past is past. But until now, Japan has continued to help us to the extent that yung ibang, ng Davao City, the new highway and bridge and everything, it would seem really that we are a part of the Japanese government. Parang isang probinsya tayo, we are the, you know, uh, being treated as almost a part of Japan that should be developed in due time. Hindi ko lang maano, but I'd like to, the ambassador is here, I'd like to express my gratitude all over again, every time I meet people from JICA and the projects all around the Philippines where I am invited to witness its inauguration or its uh, operability and all. So, even this project, ang, ang bayad is 0 0.01 and my grace period ka for 12 years. Alam mo, pag ganun ang obligasyon mo, it is really gratis na yan. It's a gift from the Japanese people to the people of the Philippines. Parang wala na yung ano, 0 0.01. How can we complete that payment in a maybe half of the century. Metro Manila Subway Project The Metro Manila Subway Project will stretch 30 kilometers connecting major business districts in Metro Manila from Quirino Highway to FDI with a branch line to the Nino Aquino International Airport or NAIA. With a maximum operation speed of 80 kilometers per hour, it will reduce travel time from 2 hours to about 30 minutes from North Avenue to FDI or NAIA. The subway is equipped with Japan's advanced technologies, including flood damage control measures and seismic design. With Japan's tunnel boring machines, the construction will be done with minimum impact on traffic above ground. Having already broken ground in February 2019, This first subway project in the Philippines will go down in history as a legacy, lasting legacy of Duterte administration. The Metro Manila subway, called the project of the century, is a testament to the friendship between Japanese and Philippine people. 
Today's lowering of the tunnel boring machine is such a huge turning point. Once the tunnel boring machine is set in motion, it will unveil a new era in the history of the Philippines Railway. I therefore like to express my sincere appreciation to the President Duterte, Secretary Tugade, DOTR officials, and contractors for the extraordinary dedication and tireless effort to t make this subway system a reality after 50 years of no progress. Now that tunnel mooring machine has been lowered underground, our eyes are already looking beyond the completion of the subway. Japan has provided the Philippines with the state-of-the-art simulators under the grant aid program. Because we know that human resource development is essential for the safe and long-term operation of the railway systems. Ladies and gentlemen, Japan has taken pride in contributing to the construction of Metro Manila subway project. And we feel more than honored to be a major part of the Philippine government in its bid to provide more comfortable and convenient life to as many Filipinos as possible through the infrastructure development. Last but not least, I sincerely wish for the safety and safety of the, all the people involved in the construction. Uh, Thank you very much. For you said PJ, how many tunnel boring machines are needed for the project and when will it be delivered? Also, how much is the contract cost for the TDMs? And his follow-up question is, when will the tunneling activities start? You said PJ. Uh, thank you, Asik Uh For the question po of Ted, uh, we will be using uh, six tunnel boring machines uh, for the partial operability section. But the entire subway project, the entire 34 kilometers, will uh, require 25 tunnel boring machines. Uh, the first and second tunnel boring machines arrive in January and February of 2021. And the uh, uh, cost of the tunnel boring machines, this is part of the contract of our civil works contractor and they cost 400 to 500 million per TBM. I was just wondering, I wanted to ask, the uh, biggest and uh, most uh, common uh, comment or question about uh, the subway is uh, the effect of the perennial flooding of Metro Manila. Uh, how will this affect the uh, subway? They are scared that uh, this, the flooding here will also flood the subway. Uh, can you say that this will never happen to the subway for the uh, for the future com commuters? And how do you intend to address this, Secretary? Uh, hi, Ira. Good afternoon. That is a very uh, valid observation indeed. Let me uh, remind you, if I may, that uh, the uh, experience, skills, technology being used is coming from Japan, specifically the JIMT. This is not new in tunneling. This is not new in subway projects. They have long histories of experience and in putting up subways similar to what we want to happen at the Manila subway station. Bear in mind that the location in Japan is worse than location in the Philippines where it is below sea level, as they may call it. The subways in Japan are never flooded and they are using that technology and that is the same technology we are using. In fact, part of the exercise that has been done in planning the tech technological details of our first subway was the soil uh, uh, testing, the ground testing that has been done and has been done extensively. To the question, uh, will there be flooding in the subway? No. What is the assurance? JMT is the assurance. The technology of our Japanese construction partners is the assurance. Their experience is the assurance. The matter of perennial floods in the Philippines, you are correct. That was considered very strongly in formulating the details of the first Manila subway station. I hope I answered your query, Ira. 
Magkano at kanino po manggagaling ang gastos? Doon sa katanungan na kung magkano, ito ho'y na, na, napasama dito sa estimate ng uh, mga 350 million na kung saan, mga 290 billion, ito ho yung sa loan sa JICA at yung counterpart fund ng uh, Republika ng Pilipinas ay mga 90 billion. Sabihin ko na lang ho na ito ho ay uh, isang uh, proyekto na pundado kasi ho meron na hong uh, loan agreement yan sa JICA at meron na, hing, na rin hong provision yan sa mga gas sa counterpart funds. Ngayon sabihin ko na lang ho ano ho yung impact nito sa ekonomiya? Yung direct employment ho nitong proyektong ito mga 9,000 na tao yan, katao. Kasama mo na yung mga indirect uh, employment, mga 40,000 to 50,000. Makikita niyo ho, kagaya ng sinabi ng ating mahal na ambasador ng uh, Hapon, embahada ng Hapon, sabi niya, matindi yung employment generation o nito. Translated in actual uh, number, 9,000 direct employment, 40 to 50,000 indirect employments. Ganun po katindi yung uh, employment generation nito. Kailan po matatapos? Dalawang aspeto yan. Yung partial operability at yung tinatawag na full operability. Yung partial operability ho, kung kailan naumpisahan yan, naumpisahan na ho, marahil gustuhin ninyong malaman ano yung partial operability nito. Magbuhat sa Valenzuela hanggang North... Uh, Abenyo sa Quezon City. Hangarin po namin na yung partial operability ay magawa. Bakit yung partial operability sa Valenzuela? Kasi po, nandiyan dyan yung depot sa Valenzuela. Nandiyan dyan yung station, Percy Station sa Valenzuela. At higit sa lahat, nandiyan dyan ho yung Philippine Railway Institute sa Valenzuela. Kaya po, para magkaroon tayo ng partial operability, tinig Binibigyan diin at binibigyan pansin namin na maumpisaan dito yung sa Valenzuela hanggang sa uh, North Avenue sa Quezon City.